Okay, welcome everybody uh, to a CMIP drop-in session about, from the model benchmarking class team, where we want to uh, explain to you the rapid evaluation framework that we have um, talked about and designed over the last couple of months. So with the rapid evaluation framework, we mean it is uh, a framework that, uh, that will help analyze uh, and evaluate simulations that come in from the CMIP, different CMIP uh, into comparison projects. Um, the plan is, or the design is, to have it open source and very modular. Um, the immediate focus would be on AR7 simulations, but it would be extensible for future model intercomparison projects. Um, we, we would try to like to leverage existing community evaluation and benchmarking packages that, uh, within that framework. The framework is supposed to uh, run at ESGF nodes or individual modeling centers. Um, the task team We'll work with the community to identify critical diagnostics for the AR7 fast track simulations, and we get back to that in a little bit. Um, and overall, the hope is that this framework will assist analysts to select models and simulations suitable for their research uh, in the long run. Thanks, Birgit. The rapid evaluation framework consists of a sequence of steps that I'll explain now. Um, it has prerequisites like a, a set of approved observational or reference data to which the simulations will be compared. When model simulation data come in, they need to be quality assured and quality controlled to assure that the right data and the right metadata are provided in order for the model benchmarking framework to understand those simulation outputs and compare them with observations. Once the data are approved, they enter, to the, they enter into the system where uh, an optimized uh, runtime client will allocate storage space and computational space, uh, create a, a directed acyclic graph of jobs to be executed. It will actually execute uh, a series of evaluations and benchmarks on all of the data. And this is where we hope to leverage the existing metrics and benchmarks developed by the community. The results and outputs from those will be combined into a series of diagnostics uh, and dashboards and published on websites. In a more detailed view, the model benchmarking task team has uh, identified uh, a series of uh, steps in the evaluation framework that uh, are a minimal requirement for the operation of the framework and a set of other desirable uh, features in the framework. So as the model centers complete their simulations and upload the output of their simulations, uh, the Earth System Grid Federation will incorporate these and perform another series of quality assurance checks. It will index and uh, replicate the data as needed and this will uh, cause the notification of new experiments to trigger a metric graph generation that determines the set of jobs required to calculate the metrics, distributes the job uh, to one or more compute engines that execute the required calculations, uh, and reuse previous calculation results as needed in order to complete its series of diagnostics. It will then store and distribute the metrics and output. This will go to a benchmarking portal that where we can visualize, say, the top five metrics per domain or realm. Uh, and uh, that's sort of the minimal set uh, of steps for the rapid evaluation framework. We'd also like to add on other features like an interactive results browser that would provide more in-depth uh, view of uh, all of the results through a nice map interface, as well as um, an, a modeling center approval workflow that would allow the modeling centers early access to the results prior to publishing on the website so that they could do their own model validation and assure that, uh, that the results presented to the eventual science users 
are uh, correct and suitable. A series of uh, alerts for the modeling center um, could also be provided if the output from that modeling center fails to execute properly within the rapid evaluation framework. The framework itself then would be uh, built upon a series of components, uh, backend components, uh, data availability components, documentation components, uh, front end and infrastructure and then science. So these steps uh, in this early design are outlined here uh, for each of those categories of components. And the ones that are essential are the ones that are required for the minimal uh, set of, uh, of components within the rapid evaluation framework. And then we have sort of high, medium, and low component uh, activities uh, that would build out to the fuller system, which we would hope, uh, even if it's not deployed for AR7 fast track, is available and, and developed and extended for future SEMIF activities. Um, in order to get started with benchmarking and evaluation tools, the CMIF International Project Office has started to collect and host information about open source data analysis tools on its website. You can see that website by uh, going to the URL down at the bottom of the page or by uh, accessing the link from the QR code in the upper right. For each of the tools um, that's collected in the database, a variety of information is available, including the category of the tool, a description of the, the tool, the types of available community support, the website link, uh, the documentation, tutorials, and <clears throat> links to any other available community support. So if, um, if you have tools uh, that might be of interest for CMIP, we ask that you register them here so that we may be able to uh, get more information about what is available as open source tools already in the community and be able to leverage some of those capabilities in the rapid evaluation framework. Back to Barry. So we started with thinking about um, what diagnostics for the different realms would be interesting or most interesting to the community. What would be something that um, different data users would be most interested in? And we came up with uh, maybe five to 10 different diagnostics per real. Um, but this is only a very first uh, introduction, a very first glimpse of what we could do with that framework and what we could implement in that framework. Um, the plan is to get drop it to provide uh, feedback sessions where the community can actually feedback on the, the selection of the necessary diagnostics that will be in the very first instance of the rapid evaluation framework or then uh, consecutively in uh, follow-up uh, upgraded versions of that framework. Slide, thank you. Um, so the timeline for the uh, rapid evaluation framework development is very tight. Um, AR7 fast track data is supposed to come in uh, in, in big quantities uh, in the second quarter of uh, 2025. So our framework needs to be ready by then. This gives us different the timeline for um, for the development starting in July this month, where we refine the options and explore resource requirements for the preferred options that how the framework should look like. Uh, in August, there will be the start of the commissioning process and the initiate the initiation of any adverse or appointment processes for contractors. In September, uh, the plan is to refine the design with appointed contractors and the initiate, initiate the build of the framework. And we hope that then in January, we, 2025, a prototype would be ready for testing. Um, in February and March, that, that prototype would be refined. And then in 2025, in April, we would have the framework ready for the correct data from the AR7 fast track. Um, on that way, we have different milestones that we want to uh, make sure that we cover. One of the first milestones would be the community engagement. 
uh, where we want to make sure uh, that we cover the most necessary and uh, um, influential diagnostics and metrics um, that go into that rapid evaluation framework in the first instance. Um, we, would, we want to make sure that we provide recommendations for enhanced QA and QC packages that are not part of the framework, but uh, are prerequisite so that the framework can, framework can work properly. And um, we want to have the prototype working um, across two participating ESGF nodes. That's uh, basically already the January uh, timeline. And then uh, our milestone stone four would be uh, making sure that we uh, describe the whole framework in a publication that is peer reviewed so that the community knows about this. So that's uh, that's it from us. Thank you so much for listening and for watching. If you have any questions regarding that rapid evaluation framework, don't hesitate to get in contact either with me or Forrest. Uh, we are the colleagues, colleagues of the model benchmarking task team or, of course, uh, the CMIP IPO that will always be uh, there to help you out if you have any questions regarding anything related. Thank you so much. Thank you.